Hey everybody, it's Dave. I've been messaged more times than I can count about my CAN bus code for the RX-8. How did I do it? How did I discover what the CAN bus codes were? What is my Arduino code? Can I have the code? Can I have all your schematics? Can I have everything? <laughs> and um, so I didn't want to just put the Arduino code out there because I didn't think that was the right thing to do. Um, I, you have to have some kind of understanding of what's going on and some backup with the information that I have as well to use that information to, to develop what you need um, because not every project is going to be the same and I'm pretty certain that not every RX-8 handles the codes the same either. There's not much difference but there are subtle differences. So I've put a GitHub, GitHub together here and put all the documents in that I think anybody needs to either write this from scratch or have a much better understanding of the code that I've put in here. And I'm just going to run through the documents in the GitHub just to give you a bit of an idea of what they are. Um, very simply, the first one is a steering PDF. I won't actually open that, but that's the Mazda RX-8 steering information, how to remove the steering, service the steering, do everything with the steering. It's not really one you're probably going to need a great deal of, but if you've really got some faults with getting the power steering working, there might be some clues in there to, to assist you. Um, Electrical.pdf, that's really important. Um, absolutely, if you're going to be taking out the engine of the RX-8 and replacing it with another engine, replacing it with an EV or replacing it or getting rid of the ECU and putting another ECU in or an Arduino or doing anything, this document, I've spent hours trawling through it. Um, it shows you every wire, every connector, every ounce of information you could possibly need. And... Um, you need this one. This is an absolute must for if you're replacing the ECU, you have to know which wires the high and low CAN bus wires are, um, where are the ignition wires, where are the 12 volt wires, where are the wires for the throttle pedals. And you can also deduce a lot from this as well. If you know that the wheel sensors are going into the ABS system, then you've got a fair bet that the wheel speeds are also coming from the ABS onto the CAN bus because that's where the sensor information is going. This document got gold dust, just really really important um, and you will need that if you really want to get an understanding of what's going on um, next one is can bus raw output it's a pretty large file this one uh, github won't um, preview it so i'll just download it here uh, 8 meg and if i open that up it's actually uh, a raw output of can codes of a driving rx8 so this is a car that was started driven and stopped revved put in gear driven again and this is the output. It's huge, very, very, very uh, long Excel file, uh, but it allows you to start to build up a picture. Using the information I've got, you can tell in here the wheel speeds, so you can tell when the car starts to roll. So obviously there you can start to work out, well, there must be some throttle pedal involved. You can start to work out where the throttle pedal is. And so you start to build a picture here. Um, with the information I've got, You can, if there's anything that I haven't done, you can work it out. Um, if there's anything you're having troubles with on your car, then you can work it out. This Excel document, again, it's just really important to figure out what is going on uh, on your CAN bus and what you do and don't need. So uh, that's very important there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, go back. So the next one is engine manual. Uh, not so important really, but I guess if you're removing the engine, there's quite a lot of information in there about how the engine's mounted in, uh, what torque settings are and all kind of bits and pieces. I didn't use it greatly. Um, I've had a pair of pliers and a very big, wrench bar <laughs> got my got my engine out my engine didn't work so i wasn't that worried about doing it in a tidy manner just ripped it out um, read me uh, just a bit of information about what this contains and what i'm telling you now basically um, i then have my master rx8 CAN bus information excel uh, if you've seen one of my other videos i run through this document in quite good detail um, i'll just pop it open again here so you can all see it but essentially this is my diagnostics of the CAN bus, what the codes are, what the codes do, any bits of information within the CAN commands that might be different for different cars. I've tried to document that in here. Um, as I've said before, this isn't all my information. Um, I found some of this online. I found some stuff online that was wrong and I've had to correct it. I've done a large portion of this myself. I've also had help from people from the DIY electric car forums and through emails as well, direct emails. And if you, any of you are those contributors, brilliant, thank you very much. We've, we've managed to do this and get this done to the point that this now replaces an RX-8 ECU and, uh, and replaces every function as far as we can tell that uh, you don't get any error lights on the dashboard, which is kind of what most of us are looking for because then you can MOT the car and, and get it back on the road. 
I won't run through this. I've got another video. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll see and uh, it gives you a much better rundown of this. This is actually more up to date than that video. I've learned more since then, but it will give you a good idea of what's going on. So closing that and just going back, um, I've then got my Canvas code. I'm um, just going to come back to that in a minute. Another really important document is this control system JPEG. This is just massively important. This is every control system on the canvas. So you've got the PCM, the electric power steering, the transmission, ABS, DCS, keyless control, um, pressure monitors for your uh, tires, steering angle, instrument cluster. Um, and it tells you what sends out and what receives in. So if, when you start to see codes on the on the can that are coming from devices, or you don't know where they're coming from, you can do things like unplug the ABS system and see what goes missing. And you go, well, actually, those codes must be coming from the ABS system. You can look at this document and go, right, what's the ABS send? Right, it sends out brake system status. It sends out talk down requests, wheel speeds, and well, two different wheel speed settings. But um, very powerful, very powerful information to let you try and diagnose where the codes are coming from. But of course, once you understand the codes come from, I don't know, the keyless control module, yeah, there's not many things the keyless control module does. So you can then very quickly work out what, what you need to do. Very important document. So coming back here to the canvas.ino file, again, a bit like the CAN codes in the RX-8, this isn't all my work. Um, Chunks of this have come from online. Again, chunks I've found online just didn't work and I've had to modify them. Big chunks of this I've written um, and chunks of it I've developed with other guys. You know, we've been with batted code back and forth to try and get lights out and then I've got something to work and then they've got something to work. So, uh, you know, I can't take full credit for this. It's very difficult to announce everybody's names. I don't really know who, who a lot of the people are from when you're gathering stuff online. But I think I'm one of the first people to actually gather all this together and get working Arduino code to put everything in one place and to put it all in this GitHub so that other people can use it. Um, so there we go. I'm not going to run through the code. You're going to have to have some understanding of code to make this work. I'm not here to teach people how to code because it's complicated and um, and I don't want to be liable for any mistakes that are made and take it with a pinch of salt about this code as well. You know, you, you're going to have to test this with whatever project you've got. Don't just assume it's going to work with what you've got. As I say, every RX-8 has its little quirks in the canvas codes that it needs. And, um, and I don't want to be liable for anybody using this and then saying, well, you've blown up my EV or you've crashed my car into a fence. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. So that sums up the documents in my GitHub. It's got everything in there you're going to need um, to get your RX-8 up and running. Um, if you find any differences or anything that I've got wrong or not wrong so much, but any differences in what you've got, then let me know. You know, I'm, I'm up for changing this and we can uh, work in progress as other people discover other things. Um, I'm currently working on the Leaf upgrade to my RX-8. So subscribe to the channel and you'll see my new videos coming out that uh, progress how I'm getting on. I've got one more to come in the next couple of days um, of the work I've done over the weekend. So stay tuned and um, thanks for watching.